So, hello everyone. We are live. So, I just want to say um, to everyone, uh, is the sound okay? Uh, make sure that's all good. Oh my goodness. And I've just seen, um, I've just seen I've got a new member. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, obviously, today, of course, it is Marie's table. And we have Madaiga Ho, of course, and um, unfortunately, Marie is not with us um, this evening. She's she's busy. Let's just say she's busy uh, doing doing something else. And uh, but tonight, of course, we have Lady G and we have Diane's tarot here. So um, I, as usual, I have looked through your questions and, you know, there are one or two caucus tonight, you know, one or two really quite juicy ones where I'm very intrigued as to what the answer will be. So before we begin, I'll just cover some of the usual um, housekeeping. So when uh, Lady G and Diane, when they are in the flow of their readings, um, if there's a donation or something that needs acknowledging, the maximum I will do will be a thumbs up or I will click on that comment, um, but I will not interrupt uh, the ladies as they're working because as you, as you all understand, when we're working with the cards, when we're channeling, it's very important that that person keep their flow. And I don't want to interrupt with like a thank you. But when it comes to me, you know, then I'll do acknowledgement, thank yous and stuff and stuff like that, because because I can wait. And as usual, what I've done is, look, I've got all your, your questions here. We can normally normally we tend to get through about six. But as you can see, I've printed them out. If we do more than six, I'll go to the reserve questions. Any questions left over, we'll put to next week. And I'll just do a quick shout out before we start. So, oh, look, we have Warrior Girl in the house. Hi, and hi Warrior Girl. Warrior Girl, we've got Gertrude. Oh, that seems to be. Oh, hi, name. Gertrude. She's oh, one of my favorite I people. Oh, Warrior Girl, too. Me. Oh, brilliant. We've got Patricia uh, Franzino, of course. But Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Barbara Ward, Sarah H, Annalie Finch. Who else do we have? We have got Marjorie as well in the room. Kiba. Kiba Lyons. Oh, that's, that, that seems new. I like that. Yeah. And who else? Good Samaritan. That's a good name, isn't it? And oh, what's this? I saw something. Hippie Sue to the rescue. Oh, that's a good one. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's <laughs> Well, okay, without further ado, let's get stuck in. And as usual, um, the ladies do not know what I am going to ask, uh, because I think it's better that way where we just have this, just we, we just react to the question. And as you know, I always like to keep something uh, international at the start. And of course, it's going to be quite obvious what uh, the question was um, in terms of international stories. So this has come from Isadora Clark. And she said, hello, everyone. Just wanted to read on who's funding the Taliban in Afghanistan. Isn't that a cracker? Mm. Very, mm. You see, because it's not just about Afghanistan, which we know is, is an awful situation. And of course, we did do a yeah. read on that last last week. Remember, like we were getting these cards and I got the Ten of Wands reversed and you guys were getting everything, which was about it was awful letting something go wasn't it but this is about who is funding the taliban and that never occurred to me so mm. what do you reckon ladies shall we get stuck in yes 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 okay. who's funding it. the taliban and um i'm actually going to do a little camera jobby today where i've got here i've got an egyptian deck my egyptian deck and then look there we are. Look, I'm going all crystally, everyone. Look, I've even got my little bit of selenite. Ooh. All right, let's actually move that over there. And do a little shuffle this way. The trouble is the camera's backwards. It's always backwards. Right. So who would like to go first? Diane, normally you're... Yeah, that's fine. Lady, Lady G, do, um, but you like I to can do... Go. All right, let's So go mine is kind of interesting because look what card I got. Oh, here's our, here's our Russian friend. Wow. And so for me, this card, you know, if I'm doing an international reading or something that is in this genre, this I would take it quite literally. Wow. Um, uh, the obstacle is this is all hidden. This a lot of this is not known, even though I think mm. a lot of people do suspect this. I, I don't think that this is a shocker to anyone, but mm. I think that there's 
aspects that we do not know. But you know, something's going on with Russia where wow. they're kind of stuck and you know they're losing money. And that makes mm. me wonder how much longer can they keep funding these sort of groups because mm. they're not doing well and their energy isn't flowing. Nothing's coming into them. There's no money coming in really. Um, and I do believe that the pandemic has hit Russia harder than what they're letting on. Wow. I've done that in some of my readings. So, okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's fascinating. Interesting. Oh, I've got this. I'm using this Egyptian deck and they They're are huge. gigantic. They're absolutely <laughs> massive. Um, Lady, Lady G. What okay. Well, what this is got, first thing I got was a gambling on an anchor with this. Ooh. anchoring in something with them and um i got this has to do with their government things government mm. government uh wanting to the challenge is putting an end mm. putting yep. an end and i got the same thing as you russia my russia uh getting away trying to get away with something uh but it's karmically then i have the wheel turning and again this is my card for overseas deals with russia wow wow i mean that is quite remarkable isn't it let me see if i can get this on camera and do a live reveal for the two of the two of you oh look the cards are so big that where am i going oh my god it's so difficult it's All right, backwards. Let's see this. It's like know. a good idea at the time, huh? I know. It seems like a good idea. It's terrible. But anyway, let's see what the reveal is because I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. look at this. Mm, temperance reversed. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And then I'll do my two clarifiers in a minute. All right. So, look, you know what? I think I'll just leave that there for now. That experiment over, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Too difficult. Right, so the first card I get here, look at that. Now we know, of course, what's going on. The Taliban are rounding in. Yeah, they've 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 had several victories now. So look, vicious battles. They're getting in there, but also as well, as we know with this card, look, there's some people walking away. So on one level, we have the Taliban that are encircling, particularly Kabul, and they think Kabul will fall, which is quite likely. Hopefully it will hold out. Yeah. But when we look at this from the American perspective, it can almost be, you think, after 20 years, there's that energy again of was it worth it? Yeah, this is a battle where two people are disgusted. Yeah, so it's kind of like, mm, if we look here, of course, the obstacle is what? The opposite of balance. The yeah. opposite of balance. Things have become unbalanced, unstable. They're actually kind of quite worried now as well about the refugee um, kind of mm -hmm. crisis and stuff that, that could be happening. They're talking about camps, food shortages. So, of course, the obstacle is, is that they don't have peace and harmony. However, I think this card here represents the Taliban because they said on TV recently because they were like, well, what about women and girls? Yeah. And they're like, don't worry, we're going to give um, uh, women and girls as much as they are due, according to the scriptures. Yeah. <laughs> Which is <laughs> like, hmm. Yeah. Take that with a little. <laughs> Absolutely. And mm. when they talk to uh, women and children on the ground, they're like, are your daughter still going to school? They're like, no. So here, this was the Taliban in a way. Because I, when I see this uh, card, it reminds me of harvest. Really, it's, it's mm -hmm. a harvest. This was them laying in wait, and now their coins have come in. And I think they've just been patiently, patiently waiting, and now's, now's the time. So there we are. And my two clarifiers, let's see what the Egyptian... I can barely turn them over. They're so heavy. Oh, look. <laughs> we've, got, <laughs> we've got the moon. Mm. I love these cards. Aren't they beautiful? But they it are. Is the moon. And what I find so interesting in this card, look, it's got young women in the scene. Mm. And we've been talking about Afghanistan and young women and girls. And the other, ah, the other card here is the Prince of Wands. So here, this would be obviously like, there's no horse here, but this is talking about what uh, a kind of a passionate male energy rushing forward. And in many ways, this describes 
Um, oh, thank you, ID. I've just seen that come in. Thank you so much for your uh, for your generous donation. So what this says to me is that's it. The Taliban are moving in. Oh, have I frozen? No, 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 okay. you're good. Oh, OK. I saw my, my camera freeze. So I think the Taliban are moving in swiftly to um, basically just try and take things over. On my screen, I'm frozen, but can everyone else see me? Yeah, yeah you're, you're fine. fine. Oh, okay. For some reason, my screen at home is frozen. But um, thank you so much, Heidi. Ah, so let's. Any more? Any more um, feedback on that, or shall we move to the next question? I'm good now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? My screen. It's so sad. Has completely frozen, so I've just got. Oh, I'm, you I'm, look perfect. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I'm sort of flying blind here, so let's go for the next question because literally. You left a comment up. Do you know that you left a comment up? Yes. Um. Because everything, everything is frozen for me here. Anyway, all right. You, I'm gonna. You go know what? The... You need to sing. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> We're going to do frozen. You know, you're my... totally animated. You're, you're quite fine. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. So um, I don't know if the screen has moved. I did a click to remove the... Um... I put up a new one. Oh, have I? I don't... <laughs> because the thing is, everything has stopped. So my feed has stopped everything. So I'm just... Basically, from my screen, I am holding up the uh prince of wands so that's what oh, that's it is awesome. anyway so <laughs> question number two and this has come from jillian furring i hope i've said that right f-e-h-r-i-n-g so she said hello hogarth looking forward to saturday friends night um oh so she's written so i heard that matt gates isn't traveling mm -hmm. with his other sycophant yeah Marjorie Taylor Greene, who we all know I call leaky douchebag blowhard. Uh, and is he getting arrested soon? So he's not turning up with her, apparently. So does that indicate arrest, arrest may be imminent? Okay. All right. So, ladies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off and come back sure. in while you're shuffling because I'm still frozen. Let's no problem. See. I don't know what's happened. Oh, you know what? Let me just close some windows. I might have too many windows open. That might help. Because I literally, I, I've just got a frozen screen here. But whoever's ready to go, uh, hopefully it will just sort itself out. I can go. I'm good. Um, so... You know, maybe part of the reason that he's not traveling is he's not really feeling up to it psychologically. You know, he's starting to feel the enormous pressure and burden of mm -hmm. everything that he has done. And so right. here he is feeling burdened and oppressed, but it is self-induced. If he so, were to take these wands, put them on his back, he could stand up and see where ah, he's going. You've got the ten of wands. Okay. Because I can't see yes. it yet. So you've got the ten of wands. Okay. So, you know, he's, it, it's, it's just to me, this card is the card of um, punishing yourself and you can fix it, but you're choosing not to. Mm. Um, his obstacle is finances. So that could also contribute to why he's not traveling anywhere. Um, he could be paying some high priced attorneys, mm -hmm. getting ready to have something happen to his assets. Cause I'm sure he knows stuff that we don't. He is feeling stressed, worried, and anxiety because he knows that justice is coming. And so this feels very legal, obviously. Like, this is going to end up in court, and he is aware of this. So I really feel like he knows what is coming, and his priorities have shifted. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, Lady G, what do you have for us? Sorry, I can't see your cards right now because I'm just like... Flying blind, but whatever. The show must go on. Well, what I got is with this, I'm feeling, you know, his party time, you know. Oh, what? Well, do you also. have the three of wands? Are you holding up the three of wands? No, I have the uh, three of ten. Wands. 
Ten of Cups. Oh, Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. Ten right. of Cups. See, you know, his family, all his entourage, everyone. Mm. And but what's happening is a strength, the the um challenges strength. Uh, because things are challenging, um, they're charging forward. So at this moment, he's tried to cool cool his jets for a while. And I also oh, got justice. Justice. Mm -hmm. justice is coming down the pike. So, yeah. And you know what you saw with partying and having good times? Maybe this was like a last hurrah for him. Yeah. You know, like he knows what's coming. So maybe he's having some big parties because he's feeling miserable and he knows he's not going to be able to soon. He could be. And it also could be, no. you know, he's worried that they are watching him as well. No. You know, because the other one I pulled was the hermit. They're still watching. And then oh. so I think he's like really laying low as much as he can. Mm -hmm. And yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, as far as Marjorie Taylor Green, I call her Mega Tramp. I just can't like anything about her. I just can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no redeeming qualities there. No, no. But I think she's fine with that. You know, like I really don't think she cares. That's who she is. And exactly. Yeah, no, you she know? doesn't care. Not she at all. Care. We're, we, we lost the. Uh, we lost Hogarth. Should we should we do a reading on where he went? <laughs> we may have to. Yes. <laughs> Let's see where in the universe did Hogarth go? <laughs> Come back! Come back! That's what we did the day that we couldn't find you. You you weren't coming, and so we started pulling cards. Where's Ganga? And it all showed that you're relaxing and you're in the woods and everything. And you were out camping. And we're like, I was you having a good time. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so funny because I had a client that didn't show up today. And so I started shuffling my cards and I'm like, okay, where is she? Because I sort of feel her. And I get the high priestess and I'm like, hidden secrets. I didn't yeah. actually send the email. I, I oh. made the email and it's like, yeah, the email was hidden from her. And I was like, oh, okay. That could be why she's not there. Yeah. <laughs> totally like, oh, I gave her so many apologies. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Right. <laughs> what I've had to do is I've li I'm now on my mobile phone. I do not know <laughs> what has happened. Um, I I don't know. So ba basically, all right. So let me just put my phone in my ring light one second, so my hands are free, and let me just do this. <laughs> Can you believe it? I mean, yeah. I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. You, so you still have a comment on the screen. Yeah. I, you know, I need to be able to. Uh, I need. Okay, so I'll see if I can get rid of that comment. One second. Well, Lonnie Ann is probably saying they're like, "What the heck?" Oh, right, and yeah, and it's just saying next, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. Like, the next. thing is, like, I'm trying to scroll through. <laughs> Let me turn up the volume so I can hear you guys. So that would that came from Lanny Ann, and I'll see if I can find it to. Um, I'm not sure if I can find it. We may just have to leave that there for now. Or you can try clicking on a new one and then clicking it off. Oh, of course, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, click on the new one and then click off. There, ah, beautiful. All right, now what I'm going to do is let me find where my loudspeaker is because I can't hear you quite right, and I'm going to respond with my cards. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love, you know, I love technology. You know sometimes the how it is. Right? Getting you on loudspeaker. This is why they don't have very many live audiences on TV anymore. Right, exactly, right? because <laughs> weird stuff happens. Let me just turn my camera around this way so I can get my thing linked up and come on oh good it's there all right so that's all good it should be can you just say something just so that i know that i'm connected one second hi can you hear Hello. us one second oh my gosh i'm just having an absolute nightmare tonight folks sorry ah there we are lg done now i've got you on loudspeaker 
Lovely. And I'll turn this way. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't. I find it doesn't work with StreamYard. Anyway, so sorry for that interruption, folks. Sometimes this is just what happens. So we were talking about Matt Gates, weren't we? Yes. Yeah. Increase the light here. Actually, my Bluetooth doesn't work when I'm on when I'm on um, this. So what I get for Matt Gates is the Queen of Swords reversed, yeah? So here we know that he's doing what? Overthinking things, yeah? He is in his head. His mind is just turning over and over and over because he's probably wondering, you know, what to do, yeah? He's probably wondering what to do. There is an element. If we look at the obstacle here, he is thinking about walking away from something. So it looks like to me it could be behind the scenes that there is a really big pressure building up. Oh. And I think it, it could be that he may be realizing he's running out of options and part part of him wants wants to, you know, leave and just and just and just go. Here we have as well, we've got the Queen of Wands, which we know is, is an entrepreneurial card. You know, um, as, as Marie would say, this is the, the purveyor of looking, looking at things. And it can refer to an entrepreneurial woman. And it can also deal with um, intuition. But when I look at this, I don't see it as Matt Gates. I see it as Marjorie Taylor Greene. Me too. That's actually what I was getting. I was waiting if yeah. you were going to say that. It's She's passionate her. and fiery, yes. Yeah, passionate and fiery. So I think she's looking at this and, you know, because look, here also as well, this can be a, a harsh female energy as well. So yeah. in a way, it's almost like Marjorie Taylor Greene is coming through a bit more and she's almost like muttering under her breath, yeah, because she's going to feel a bit thwarted. And then what I've got here uh, for my Egyptian cards so here, we look, we've got the Three of Cups. So this would normally be a mm. celebration. So Matt not being here is kind of messing up the celebration a little bit, yeah? I think she was all jingoed up, all ready to be like, you know, with her usual stuff. Mm -hmm. And what is it that the both of them love to talk about? The Emperor, yeah? This is the mm. Emperor card. So we know who that is, Duck Larange. Yep. So here, I feel like in some way, I'm not quite saying the gaffer tape is coming off the wheels for Matt Gates just yet, but I think there's a lot of squeaking going on and things loosening a little bit. What do you reckon? I think so. And I think he does know a lot more than the rest of us. And yeah. I think he knows what's coming. And yeah. I think she probably does too. I think she probably yeah. has some information. Maybe she gets it directly from him. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, I think they're feeling things and they know things that we don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because yeah. we both got the justice card. It, it's, oh, did you? Right. it's coming, oh. it's, it's coming. Yeah, it's in the works. Yeah, something is definitely there in the works. Okay, so now for the oh, next. Garth, I, want yeah. you, I want your background, it matches me today. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, we wouldn't see you. I move, I move, I move out the way so you can I'm see it. Camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I when I when I kind of dim it a little bit, and my sound is doesn't sound so great, but I think the two of you can hear That's me good. just fine. Oh, yeah, no, so it's perfect. I will, <laughs> I will, I'll move on to the next question. So, oh, this is another good one. This is it's a bit astrological, but I think the two of you will find it interesting. So, this has come from Yanti uh, Weboa. Ah, yes, Nanti, uh, Nanti Yanti, she's great. Yeah. So she said, hi, um, hi, guys. So the U.S., the USA will have a total eclipse in 2024, around about 8th of April, yeah, 2024, just like in 2017. Um, I think I actually spoke about this. I can't remember. I think uh, my Hillary Clinton video or something like that. So this time the eclipse will pass through Texas, Arkansas, Cincinnati, and the New York State. So it goes up from... It goes up through Mexico and then basically crosses from one side of America to the other. So she's asking, please, can you check the meaning of this total eclipse for the USA? So this is really going into the future. We know tarot is not great with time, but we can certainly read the energies for now. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. 
Let's see the eclipse. Let 2024. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get myself back in on the other and, you know, do you know what I mean? Have myself as a as a guest or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what. As a guest. Can you do that? Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I prefer the other camera. But anyway, what have you? All right. Eclipse. 2024, the eclipse of 2024. What's happening with that? The eclipse of 2024. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pull five straight ones on this. Okay, I'm good to go. I think I Brilliant. know what I'm seeing here. Uh, so 2024 is actually when I put that we'll have some extraterrestrial communication. And we'll be mostly out of the pandemic by then, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be in a very different energy. We'll be heading more even so than we are now towards fourth density, fifth dimension. Mm. And so the first card I get is truth coming out. Wow. And I am thinking this is disclosure that we've all been waiting for. However, some people aren't going to be so happy about it. It's going to, I don't know. I think it's going to go against their plans and they're not going to like that. But hidden secrets, sacred knowledge and wisdom come out, followed by enlightenment that leads to a new beginning. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to be in a very different place. And I think we're going to know a lot more by then. I'm looking forward to wow. it. Wow. Okay. Lady G, what do you have? Okay. Well, I used different cards this time. Um, and what I got was, you know, at that point we'll have, there will be some resistance. Some people will be resistant, of course. Uh, by that time, we will have... Uh, a little more humility after going through the pandemic. Um, some light is going to be shed. Um, those that are kindred, that are ready for this, will have that direction revealed. And again, the voice, yeah, the communications. Mm -hmm. The communications wow. are coming at that point. So, yeah, I agree with you, definitely. Wow. That's what I've been feeling going to open yeah yep wow marcia says hi hello there marcia humble great name great there so she's saying hi to all of us okay so here we are this is going to be funny when you look at my cards Diane. oh no so in, re in regards in regards to the eclipse well look at this look at this oh, two of right. wands as well but it's, it's reverse so um yeah. for me it's reverse but we, we know what the two of wands are basically this is making plans someone prospecting yeah so but what this would suggest is for at least for the reverse position for me this could suggest you know maybe plans there could be some kind of reversal of the status quo mm -hmm. that could that this eclipse could usher in so, because yeah. eclipses are seen like, okay, so like what's just happened with my laptop now, mm -hmm. that's like an eclipse effect where um, it, what it does is you, you can get static that builds up and eclipses are like pressing the on off button again. They kind of, so there's an energy that builds up and wherever the shadow passes through, things can turn around sometimes eclipses can be amazing but they're very unpredictable so this considering we're reading the eclipse it's like plans that have been made are somehow halted or turned upside down in some way by what look at that <laughs> the truth. we got the same card <laughs> yeah it's coming the truth yeah. there is some kind of truth that comes out that turns everything upside down isn't that interesting and then what i got here for the next car look i get manipulation of some kind yeah juggling there's things to do with money there could be a financial truth perhaps that comes out it could be something to do with the markets because after all this is a business card and mm -hmm. it and look the globe is in the hand so it could be maybe something happens with international trade some truth comes out Sorry, some truth comes out. 
And then that makes everyone juggle with this new reality. And when we look here, here is the Ace of Wands, which, you know, is about passion. It's about initiating yeah. new pro uh, projects and all that kind of stuff. But it's reversed. So there is this element here. My gosh, my computer screen's just gone really weird. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So there is an element here where, again, if we think, look at these wands, which are, can be very passionate, entrepreneurial. So mm -hmm. some kind of trade gets affected. He's holding a globe in his hand by some kind of truth that comes out, there's going to be some kind of balancing of money or the financial markets that could be upset. And this will affect initiating new businesses and new doing, doing things in a new way could be halted in some way. So it could be very significant. And the card that I get as the outcome is the, is the Ace of Cups. So we know this deals a lot with emotion, uh, relationships, um, friendliness and just generally generally a kind of like a positive feeling warm fuzzy feeling we can say but really is it a warm fuzzy feeling with all of this stuff that's gone before this could actually be quite emotional as well so i think the eclipse is going to bring in some stuff some quite unstable energy which is what eclipses are known for and the last one this last eclipse that went from one side of America to another, that happened in 2017 after a certain Duck Larange was sworn in. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So I remember ooh, that. Ooh, right? Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> sketchy. Um, anything to add to that before I ask the next question? All good? Yeah? All good. All good. Brilliant. All right. So desert artist we have in the room. We've got Laurie. We've got Sharon Seip. Uh, we're up to 665. I wonder if it's going to go to 666. <laughs> At that point, it will. No, it, it, oh, no, it changed. It changed. Thank goodness it changed. All right. So the next question. Next question. Um, so this will be question number four. And this is coming from Catherine S., and she's uh, written, why does, oh, this is a great question. This is one I really liked. Why does it seem like a very large amount of narcissistic individuals have incarnated onto Earth during this current time frame? <laughs> <laughs> Good I, mean, isn't that... I missed that first part. Okay, so, so why does it seem like a very large amount of narcissistic individuals oh, okay. have incarnated <laughs> onto Earth at this current time? we got to oh, put on that. Mercy. It does seem to be a lot of it about, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll Absolutely. see. Absolutely. What I'll do is, if my, oh, my computer's still being weird, if my computer wasn't being weird, then what I would have done is I would have just pulled up um, a chart because, and now this is this is not to be down on anyone that's a baby boomer or, or anything like that. However, at that time frame, planet Pluto, uh, which of course deals with big transformation and all that stuff, you know, Pluto's causing all this havoc now because he's inside the real Capricorn, which is government. Pluto for when a lot of baby boomers were born, was in Leo. Oh, and wow. the shadow of Leo is me, 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 me. That's the shadow of Leo and can be childish as well. I'm talking sidereally, of course. I mean, Leo's great for creativity, uh, the film mm -hmm. industry, um, um, all, of, all of that. Um, <laughs> someone said they almost spit their spit their cereal cereal milk milk out when they heard my um and uh, did i make did i did i make you laugh debbie riggs yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's the best best thing to describe us so what do you what do you what do you get ladies in terms of when we tune so, into that energy so i this is actually part of my empath class that i teach mm. because so many of my viewers are light workers and they're empaths and if you're not balanced as an empath, you end up attracting these people. It's like a moth to the flame. Wow. Uh, but what I would say about these people is that these are the ones that are caught up in the reincarnation cycle of the earth. 
They're trying to get out of third density because they've been stuck in this energy for 76,000 years. Oh. These were the warfaring people on Mars that blew up Maldek, which is now our asteroid belt near Jupiter. And you know, according to the law of one, they were then placed here to start off as cavemen and work their way up. But some oh of them haven't gosh. quite figured it out. And so now wow. they're just nasty, hideous people who know that they're going to spend another 76,000 years on another planet that's third density where they have sabotage. to learn. It, it is kind of self-sabotage um, because they're going to have to experience all of this all over again, but it's a free will planet. And so this is my card for them. You know, here's the devil, but it's self-imposed. It's their choice. They don't have to ascend. Nobody will ever force you to be a better person and to be of service to others. Um, they're completely in service to self. Their obstacle, I'm going to look at this as they just care about themselves. They're in it for mm -hmm. themselves. They don't really care about other people. There's nothing altruistic or philanthropic about them. They're caught up in their own personalities uh, and cares energy, and wants. Yeah. But look how miserable they are inside. Mm. You know, they're actually not happy people. But they don't want to turn over a new leaf either because I think they would look at it as failure or not being true to who they are. And I think a lot of them are caught up in the conspiracy theories at this time. Right. Mm. Wow. So that's wow. my take for what it's worth. <laughs> mm. So, Lady G, what do you have for us? Well, first thing I got is they're under still the illusion barking at the moon and the contract, you know, wanting to come in as quick as they can yeah. to continue to try to get away with stuff that oh. you know, the ego driven oh. thing. But this is a time uh, the challenge is to evaluate where there are, what what they're doing. Uh, you can either go the path of love and light or, you know, the path of money and greed and what can I get in the uh, realm of duality okay uh, and uh, so now it's that time of uh, you know uh, that energy is coming out and the polarization is happening and so yeah that's they're not wow. they're not choosing the the right path they're still on that ego bent and you know i still want to do what i want to do and get away with whatever mm. i can get away and pad my nest here and uh, that's it yeah yeah all that me 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 uh energy so we now have over 735 people in the house which is very nice let's uh, just do a few more shout outs so marcia humble of course we've got maggie craigie catch 11 Holly, DeShane, Rene Rogers, and Anne Rudd, and many more. All right, again, we're going to chuckle again when you see my cards, yeah? For these people, yeah, and you know, and, and what I want to just say is, look, if you do happen to be in, in, in this generation, I say, look, still big love, yeah? Because mm -hmm. Pluto does show deep, deep karma. Saturn is the planet of karma, but Pluto is generational karma so mm -hmm. wherever you see pluto in the chart that can speak to literally to generations of generations so there is a certain generation that did come in with that leo energy but they did also help rebuild the world as well but it was very much in their image so anyone that doesn't fit them their archetype not so happy yeah so this and what we're seeing is a lot of what petulance as the world changes, because the shadow of Leo is can be childishness, yeah? yeah? So how are these people feeling? Look at this. They feel under siege, yeah? Almost like cut out, yeah? That the world is changing so fast, they no longer feel they belong mm -hmm. to the church that was once theirs, yeah? And I think this is why you're seeing so much holding on grasping you know clawing clawing at everything oh we've uh -oh. lost we lost diane uh -huh. oh, do you, you know what this means it's because it's because talking about certain people i'm sure they've got their little agents out there you know their little gremlins the to throw gremlins are there our little troll people there exactly <laughs> that 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 gremlin troll hopefully let's just see hopefully she's gonna just uh, when when she's time for her to come back in 
she will show up. So hopefully um, I'll be able to kind of get her back in. But I'm doing it on my mobile now, so it's a bit different. So there's that. So the obstacle card. Look at this. Stinky fish. So when I when I look here, um, again, it's when I look this at, as the obstacle, and we know that this is a young card, so sometimes it can deal with immaturity as well, stuff like that. But if we think it's kind of like a bit of a poultry offer, isn't it? So it's almost like they are starting to feel shut out because maybe they don't have anything to offer. Yeah. yeah. Anything new, anything that is going to be, you know, kind of like taking things to the next level. Now I'm wondering, now I'm worried about even touching my phone right now because I don't want me to go go strange. But let me just see if she's in guests. Okay, so she's so she's not there yet. So let's wait yet. for Diane to get back, and then hopefully I should be able to um, add her on. So what else is going to happen? So there's a generation that is feeling scared, feeling locked out, that they don't have much to offer. But look at my next card, Ganga. Yeah. Ooh. That big tower moment coming thank you so much for that uh, for that donation let's see who who gave that um oh i'm I, oh, here we are planet. that was janet janet planet thank yeah. you janet planet we really appreciate that um diane's still not trying to get back in yet so let's see she might be having a serious uh technical issue yeah but also as well look what the next card i get the yeah. devil Mm -hmm. Diane got the devil as she well. She got the devil as well, yes. Absolutely. The card of the big ego. Absolutely. The ego. These people ego are basically in, exactly, they are enslaved to their egos. Yeah? yeah. Because here, when the, oh, thank you so much. That's a, that's another donation. That's, oh, Michael M., thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, so basically they're enslaved to their egos but also as well the devil card is actually one of one of the cards that actually gets a little bit worse sometimes i mean actually that's not quite true it can mean transcending addiction yeah it can mean transcending addiction overcoming those things but in this case in this context because we've got the tower and we've got stinky fish yeah and we've yeah. got the five of pentacles we know that this is real deep psychological addiction here that is highly dysfunctional and yeah. what we have is for those that are sort of under the spell look they're rearing up so i think some of these people on an instinctive lesson have decided that the best form of um defense is attack let's see here i can't see let me do invite the guest no maybe not um what's this more Let's have a look. Post, comment, broadcast, cancel. Can't see Diane yet. She's obviously no. must be still trying to get in. Wow. Yeah, she um, might be having, uh, you know, I don't know, with the weather patterns and craziness too, it could be something with her server went down or something. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm having, just, I'm still, let me just see if I can get a new... You know what? I I don't even trust using my laptop because it's it's just freezing. If anything, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to restart it, and um, that oh sorry the light from my <laughs> sorry it's all happening. Oh, but look, you get to see more of my background. Ah, here we are. Here she is. Um, why can't I put her in? Add to stream. Here she is. Yay! I lost yeah. power. I actually lost power. It wasn't just the internet. Everything went out because every Saturday, or well, actually it's been every day, that we're in the middle of a big storm. That's when I was thinking, lightning. That's when I was yeah. feeling it's a weather thing that, that's- It's uh, the weather. Yeah. Yeah. I was just, hooked up just right said. into the router and we thought we lost everything. I lost all my lights and oh. yeah, insane. So I'm on the cellular <laughs> data, so. Well, oh, it Lord. won't it won't it won't surprise you, Diane. Guess what? I got the devil card as well. <laughs> and what else? I've got another card that was a set that was the same. And I also got the tower card uh, as well. So what I've done is I've re I've just kind of restarted my computer just to kind of get to clear up. 
But let's move to the next question. So thanks everyone for sticking with us. This is the joy actually of YouTube. It's live, isn't it? Yeah, it's live. Anything. <laughs> especially at this time when we're having all these strange weather patterns everywhere. It just Absolutely. Is. Absolutely. You, Thank you so oh, much, Catherine. Sorry, no, go on. Go on. Uh, do you know that today in New England, it was hotter than Cairo, Egypt, and oh, it was hotter stop. and more humid than Cambodia. <laughs> okay, so think there, about this for a minute. They're getting you ready for the Egyptian tour. Right, well, and people we'll say to me, aren't I afraid of getting too hot? And I'm like, you do realize what New England's been like, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean we're making, gonna... isn't that strange? It is, it That's is crazy. remarkable. It is remarkable. Thank you, Dr. Liz Cleves for your donation. Oh, I Dr. wanted Liz. to try and, I tried to like show it up, but, um, I couldn't it had gone through the thing is what i'm thinking is uh, is, is is diane is that by the time you get to egypt egypt you might be disappointed you might be like oh it's so cold yeah Rick, take a caftan <laughs> with you because you've you've adapted so much now to the heat <laughs> isn't it remarkable you know, I, oh. you know what i did to get ready for the trip this week is i called the cdc mm. Because yeah. after I looked at their data on their website, I was like, oh, I'm coming from a hot spot, go to some place that isn't. And I've been sort of following their data, looking at it. And so I called them and I said, you know, what should I expect? What should I know? What are your recommendations? Mm. And so based mm. on what they said, they actually said, well, they don't advise for Egyptians to come or anybody to come to the U.S. The U.S. is a hot spot. And it would True. be at this point more dangerous for me to go to places like Florida and Texas, right? Go to mm, or something, mm. you know, California. Um, but they said I have to be tested before I get into Egypt, and I have to be tested before I come back. And I'm not allowed back in the country if I test positive. Wow. Um, and I'm not allowed out of the country into Egypt if I test positive. So, but I have both vaccines. Um, but I did change something about my trip based on their recommendations because they said the only place where they're really having this outbreak of um, the virus is on these cruises, the Nile cruises. So I did decide yeah. to cancel the Nile cruise and stick to land. Sounds but like a other good than idea. That, they, and they said it should be fine, you know, because it's a lot more of an outdoor um, society. The thing that I'm yeah. going to is very outdoorsy. And I've had both the vaccines, and so, yeah. Yeah, you should be good. And one tip I can say as well, it's very hard to catch COVID when you're up in a hot air balloon going right? over the pyramids, yeah? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going camel back, you might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, the camels have got COVID now as well, so you might, you know, yeah, but you, you just have to see <laughs> Test your My camel first. Goodness. Test the camel. <laughs> I can't ride a camel because I tried taking it home. Like, I know me. Oh, I'm fine oh, with a camel to. and it just oh. would have... Oh, you, wow. you have to. You have to. I, I, I look <laughs> forward to, like, video. How are things that. in England and Ireland and Scotland? How, are, how is it with Good the... Good question. Uh, Do you know what? We've... we've <laughs> We've had some kind of weird stuff go down in the sense of uh, basically over here it's it's not really in the news. And by the way, we have uh, we've got over 800 people watching us right now. So thanks, everyone, for being with us tonight. Um, so in terms of in terms of the UK, uh, we now have now broken the link between uh, covid infections and hospitalizations It's barely in the news over here. We did have wow. this weird mass shooting thing in Plymouth, which for us is absolutely and utterly bizarre. Yeah. Wow. Plymouth. Yeah. It was really, really, really weird. It's a big, big story Shocking. over here. Um, so what happened was that there's this, he's obviously mentally unstable. He actually killed his own mother, actually, as well. Crazy. And he had a gun license and it was taken away. But the local police gave it back. And everyone's like, what is that all about? So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. So, but, um, but otherwise, in terms of COVID, I think we're doing well. Everything is open. It's basically back to normal. Right. Oh, I wow. still wear my mask, though. <clears throat> yeah, I still wear my mask. I want to go back to my roots. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, yeah, and also I as well, what, 
I've never been. Oh. My, my roots are from um, Scotland, Scotland uh, English border, the borderlands, and so I would like to go and check it wow. out. Wow! Wow! Yeah, me yeah, too. I mean, I, my background is mostly English, and but yet I've never been there. Thank you. Thank there you, Chris. Yes, yeah. you, no, you, you would love it. You should all go. I know. Come visit. Come visit. Yeah. Literally. Come visit. I'm always ready oh, to Oh, absolutely. <laughs> come, 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 come visit. You, you, you will love it. Okay. So, um, this is another great question. Yeah, this is a cracker. All right. So, hippie Sue to the rescue. This was, this was, this was your question. And clearly, you're you're very good at digging around in some things. Because I was like, ah. Uh -huh. Really? Okay, so Hippie Sue to the Rescue asks this. What was Bill Barr Epstein's CIA handler back in the 70s or 80s? Do you guys know anything about that? Like No. Oh. I I was I was kind of hoping that when I put forward that question that you guys would be like, yes, I've heard of this. Yeah. No, no. And, Tumbleweed, tumbleweed. But you know what? Shall we pull on it anyway, even though we're not sure? sure. Because I just think it's a curious question. All so right. What's the so, exact question that I'm reading on? So was Bill Barr um, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein's CIA handler back in the 1970s or 80s? I don't have any more context on that, but we can just say, was he involved with Epstein? Perhaps. Uh, okay. Bill Barr and Epstein. Oh, you know what? I really don't like my cards. Um, oh, okay. I'm leaving. A... I'm leaving this one. I don't like it. Really? There's there's something more. There's some dark money and it involves kids and. Oh. I mean. Ooh. Literally, yeah. I'm. Oh my yeah, no, god. I'm good. All yeah, right. she's onto something. She's onto something. Lady yeah, G, yeah. do you do you feel like do you feel like reading? <clears throat> well, what have you got? What I got was, you know, involved with a number of people. Okay. Challenges, oh. the death card. Wow. Good. See. <clears throat> uh, abuses of power. Um Again, not wanting to to see. I mean, you know, trying to keep things on the QT, and we have underneath of it night uh, out in the cold. Not good things. Mm. Not good things. So, it, it, from looking at this, it would say he, he was maybe involved with. It was something. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Dark. That is a bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah, and, it was really dark stuff, yeah. Because look what I got here. Look what I got. First of all, mm -hmm. big money. Yeah, the big money. Look at that. As the, in terms to symbolize it, big money. Kind of just like what the, what the both of you were talking about. And here, we can see here, there's some kind of burden here, but something potentially that Barr wanted to drop, yeah? Yeah. I think there was a sense here where this maybe got a bit too much for him. Whatever it was... He felt like, you know what? I need to drop this burden, yeah? Something, something's not right here. And when we look here, look, we get the Empress, mm. which, of course, deals with what? Women, but also motherhood as well, and can mean America in the broader sense, yeah? So there's something going on there. And then we see what? A battle, yeah? Trying to defend uh, a position yeah. of some kind, and then wanting to get away from things, move to smooth, smoother waters, but not being quite able to. Right. So I think there could yeah. be things that are for entertainment purposes only, yeah, that bar may feel almost like, eh, I get this sense of bar kind of putting something down and going and walking the other way yeah because you know yeah. i'm not the biggest fan of bar but i mean it doesn't mean that he's an evil evil guy per, per se but there's something there in his past that he's kind of dropped and seeking to get away from and this could be why as well why he's he's trying to keep such a low profile since he's left office have you noticed he's just hardly saying 
anything. And we're yeah, up to almost 900 people in the house. Yeah, very quiet, isn't he? Yeah. Very quiet. He more than, knows more than, uh, yeah. Oh, knows yes. more than he's letting That's on. And he knows a lot, I think. Knows a lot more than mm -hmm. he's letting on. So question six. So, um, so of course, this is this is a, a duck la range. <laughs> Always got to do a duck la range. All right. So, oh, here we are. So, Dennis Thomas asks, "What was the uh, it, what? This is the question. What was the white evangelical preacher's role in endorsing duck la range? Was it for them? Was it for money? Or did they think if they put?" Dr. LaRange there, it was a way to bring Jesus to earth. That's quite an interesting one, isn't it? I know. Some I know, of them Diane. think that, though. They think it, right? We know that some of them think it. Some He's of them the Messiah. think it. Yeah. Yeah. So we could, to simplify the question, we could be, uh, how, what is, what do, how do the evangelical church perceive um, Dr. LaRange, we could maybe ask it that way. All right, the evangelical church who uh, Lady G refers to as the what do you call them? The evil, the evil, evil angel? angel, the evil angel brigade. Mm. Okay, the evangelicals, how do they feel about why did they back Dr. LaRange? Why? The reasons for backing Dr. Ranch. Okay, is anyone ready to go? I yeah, I can go. Um, oh. So I think they thought it was going to bring financial stability. Mm -hmm. That somehow this was going to increase their revenue. I pulled a few for their obstacles. Um, they do get the full card and I would just sort of read that literally, you know, they were mm. playing the part of the fool. Why? For money. Um, so somehow yeah. money was involved and it leads to more money, becoming more affluent, receiving even mm -hmm. more money, which helps them to have like this brand new start. And it's a karmic turning point where they come into like their destiny, they think, and, um, but yeah, I I think their judgment, oops, sorry, their judgment was off. And, you know, here's Archangel Gabriel calling to them. And I, I don't think anything good is going to come of it, but it seems financial, what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, that's I did very know interesting. That, there we are, Michelle. Bar's father was also was a principal where Epstein taught at mm -hmm. very interesting so that fact. person was on that's weird isn't it very yeah. weird six degrees Lay of separation oh they're, it's all connected in those circles so um yeah. lady g what do what do you have for us and then i will finish up to close I mean, the, show. Of the star so i think it was their idea of this prophecy the q and on all this stuff and uh mm. So he who shall not be named is is fighting the cabal and all of that other stuff um because above it we have nine of swords you know this is something that was preying on them the challenge is the devil okay mm. challenge is the devil and uh so this is something that they were juggling and what i got for clarifier was the voice you know we keep having these ones saying but god told me but god is talking to me this prophecy that he is the one that's why i say it's the evil angel brigade because wow. absolute deception mm. and so what we have here this is usually my card for the white house but there's nobody yeah. there we've got nobody the, there the dreamer so they had false ideas about this um, and just holding on to that, you know, these false proclamations and uh, um, false prophecies coming out. Wow. And they still have them over there continuing to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. So first of all, I want to say, just in case we might have some MAGA people with us today, I want to say to you, happy reinstation day. Yeah, Biden's still president. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just just wanted to say that, and um, you know, I think it's September and, uh, 18th now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is that September 18th now? Now it's apparently. The 18th. <laughs> maybe maybe maybe, so. maybe Mike maybe Mike Lindell is going to commemorate the occasion with a special pillow for everyone. Yes, Hello? you can suffocate well, yourself when fitting. it doesn't happen. Yeah, my God, I mean, it's <laughs> ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. So here we are. When it comes to the old evangelicals, there we are. This is the card of prospecting. Yeah, there you are, waiting for the ship to come in. Yeah. So these guys were like, "That's yeah. it." Trump, you know, he's going to do it for us, yeah? But, eh, eh, yeah, still waiting on the shore, and they're like, oh, oh, this hasn't quite worked out. Because what were they expecting? The money, yeah? yeah. They thought the money yeah. was going to come in. They're like, it's going to be coins, coins, coins. But look, it was reversed, too. So there they are, prospecting, waiting for these guys to sort them out. And we all know, guys, Duck Orange doesn't pay his bills, and he doesn't pay out the cash, yeah? He yep. only dishes out stuff where you can put money in his pocket, like his $45 MAGA card. Have you seen this? The Trump card, where you can yes. prove your loyalty to Trump. Yeah, my goodness. Scary. So they thought they would be sitting pretty, yeah? Yeah. Ah, when well, this card is the right way up, look at that. When the card's the right way up, this is being, you know, affluent, wealthy, you know. This is the courtesan who is the hostess with the mostess. Yeah, she's got the grapes going on. She's got a house in the background. She's there with her falcon. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, sipping tea. She's all happy. But look, it came out reversed. So they thought Trump was going to do this from line their pockets from here to heaven. And look, it's not worked out. You see all these reversals? And here we are. When we look here at the Page of Cups, yeah, so this can be about bringing forward the truth and blah, blah, you know, all that kind of stuff rapidly, but came out reversed. A spy in the camp, yeah? Or someone who's coming through leaking information or someone who's just blatantly lying, yeah? You know, so, so maybe look, look, you see how puffy and cloudy it is in the background? Almost like pillows, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> It's Mike. Uh, here we are. Now they're here, what? Defending a position because they've not got, you know, they were prospecting. They they saw uh, Laurent, Duck Laurent, as an opportunity. Uh, as an opportunity to what? Fill their coffers. You know, uh, this is this is looking after the home. You know, this could even represent the church. The church churches are seen as feminine institutions anyways. Yeah. So it's almost like the church waiting for this money to come in. But it hasn't come. They they thought they were going to be even richer than before. The telephone lines will be ringing off the hook and it was going to be Bentleys all round. But I guess not. <laughs> Because really the truth has started to leak out ultimately. And there's someone who's just been telling lie after lie after lie. And it's just not working. And now they find themselves in a position that they have to defend because today was re-inauguration day. And guess what? It's not here. So they're going to have to cook up some new conspiracy theory to try and get back to this and turn this card around so that they can feel that they're in mink and diamonds for the rest of their life. And it's probably not going to happen. So yeah. there right. you are. That's my six pence worth. Well, you know, he who shall not be named has always got that carrot out there. But you'd think they mm -hmm. would get a clue because it's not a real carrot. He won't even no. <laughs> it's plastic. Out for a real it's plastic. carrot. It's a plastic, <laughs> plastic carrot. You know, it lasts longer that way. So oh, yeah. there's a plastic carrot out there. It's, it's total Halloween stuff. It's, to, it's total Halloween stuff. You know, when I think of Trump and all the people he lets down, he probably sends them an ov envelope. You know, like on Halloween where you do it and it's like a fake poop in the post. I'm sure he just gives everyone one of those. Do you know what I mean? With a whoopee cushion. Because there is no... Um, they they're so delusional we see the pattern he knows the pattern and he he plays them he is very clever in that way like i said that reptilian intelligence he has this yeah. talent 
to be able to sniff out a sucker. That's what he's able to do. It's, it's one of his great gifts. Not that I want to, you know, bigging up and praise him too much, but you do need some con man talent to be able to fool that many people. He and that he's now got like a good portion, shall we say, of the country believing this stuff. Still. It's remarkable. Still. 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 It's amazing. Even in the face of death, it is remarkable. And, you know, yeah. and eventually all I worry about just the close is, and this is, I think I've mentioned it before, and I'm sure the two of you would agree. For me, this is actually all starting to transcend Trump now, regardless of what happens to him. He's created this playbook. Yeah, yeah. he's created this playbook yeah. that everyone can go to. If you don't like the result, ah, it was fraud. It was this, it was that. Bamboo right. shoots, you know, chickens being fed shredded up ballots he has made the ridiculous the utterly ridiculous mainstream we now got news channels talking absolute you know what and it's just astonishing but i think ultimately it will change but there needs to be mm -hmm. a big wake-up call there really does there really right. does so it's not going to change until he's indicted and then mm, if you will, true. Will wake up yes they will still be some that will say it's all a, a ugly plot by the deep state to take him out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's they so will, strange. And you listen to those people, they, but they truly believe it. That's they the part do. that is astonishing. They, well, they really believe it and they thing. fear it. And, but it's all yeah. fear based. And you know, yeah. it, it's like, I, cause sometimes my, my uh, viewers will ask me about this person on YouTube or that person on YouTube. What do I think? And they're always asking me about people that are fear-based, that are saying, it's Armageddon, it's the apocalypse. And I'm like, I get it. That gets you subscribers because you're keeping people yeah. afraid and that yeah. makes them tune in. But it's not ethical because these people, I can tell, I read them their energy. I can tell they don't believe it. But they mm. know that you will pay them. You know, you'll become a member. You'll pay them for their services. And they're just laughing all the way to the bank. And it's so yeah. immoral. It's so yeah. immoral. So yeah. Immoral. And well, they'll have to deal with that on the other side, you know. People exactly, karma. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. So, with that, um, as we have run over, I know we had some technical issues, so we could, uh, you know, allow a little just bit a more uh, to go. I mean, I, I don't know what was going on. I couldn't see anything at one stage. It just went completely blank. So you were holding up cards, and I, I was like, I could tell kind of what you were reading by what you were saying, but I couldn't see anything. So, so I want to say thank you to everyone for joining us uh, this evening and thank you so much as well uh, for the donations. I also want to say a big thank you to Lady G and of course Diane for bringing your panache and style and wisdom and <laughs> intellect so that we can give people some sanity in these cray cray times. And um, and it's just a great, great uh, working working with you guys. It's so much fun. Any question, folks, uh, that were left over? There were a few left over. We will just put them over onto the next ones. But we found out some interesting stuff today. Yeah. Almost a thousand people in the house. Not far off. So that's that's Whoa. pretty good as well. Not too bad. And we will see you next week. So thanks everyone. Thanks again for the donations. Thanks for the questions. And see you all soon. Yep. Thank All you. right. Bye, everyone. All right. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.